You will have another week of a campaign. BN will have less seats. He has lost two thirds majority. He cannot uh, win two thirds majority. It's a slap in the face for Najib Razak. Because it shows that the people of Johor are realizing that they cannot support a kleptocrat to return as a prime minister in Malaysia. The ground was warming up to that result. But uh, we do not have an extra week. An extra week will have made all the difference in the Johor elections. It is a loss. It is the greatest loss for the unknown kleptocrats. And uh, that should be a lesson of the Johor State elections. I congratulate the Pakatan Muda, the Big Ten policy, the Big Ten approach. In the DAP, I congratulate the DAP Johor leadership and all who have come to help. Although it was a very uphill battle, but we need uh, we. Uh, an uh, extra week will have made all the difference. We will have uh, ensured that uh, we could have achieved the maximum results. We lost uh, four from the uh, latest results. We will keep ten and we have lost four. And uh, it is a great loss in uh, Palo, Miko, Jongping, and Tanjong uh, and Kekanas. If there's another week, we will attack all these four seats. But I think this is a, a reaffirmation that the Johorians on behalf of Malaysians want to see change. After a lot of uh, false news, fake propaganda about the 22 month Pakatan Harapan government, I think the truth is getting across. And uh, I think it's important that uh, the Johor elections should be a warning to all those who think that the people of Johor and the people of Malaysia will easily succumb to negative propaganda and one and uh, underestimate the determination and the support of Malaysians for change. There are a lot of people who were disappointed. Yesterday I met the voters who said they won't vote, they are not wanted to vote, but they decided to vote. And uh, another week, will, as, I, as I said, will make all the difference. But I think we must realize that this is our country. We want the best for our country. And uh, Malaysia cannot be a world-class great nation if they become a kleptocrat, kleptocracy, kakistocracy, and a failed state. There is still hope about the future. So I will urge all Johorians and Malaysians to keep fighting for a better Malaysia.